So in spinal cord injury, we now know human brain stem cells put above and below the area that was lost its blood supply, the cells in a very appropriate fashion go in and they re-insulate the fibers that had lost their insulation. And the electrical current goes through. And the ones for the pain go through. So now we know with no question whatsoever that you can replace the cells whose cell bodies were in that region of injury and that allows redevelopment of the electrical circuitry and it allows the mouse or rat that had the lesion now to walk in an appropriate fashion. And we also know, and probably we're one of the few companies, scientific labs that have done this, is that if you let them walk for a long time and then you give them a toxin that kills the human cells, to ask were they not only necessary to repair the spinal cord injury, but were they necessary to maintain the regeneration if you put the toxin in that kills human cells but not the animal that had the spinal cord injury, you lose the human cells and you're paralyzed again. A lot of other cell types are being put into spinal cords with the hope that they can ameliorate the damage. But we already know that macrophages, cells that have already been put in by other groups, can't do that. We already know that mesenchymal cells that can form scar and might lower the damage for a while can't do that. They can't turn into the neurons, the astrocytes, and especially the insulating oligodendrocytes that nervous system stem cells, brain stem cells can do.